And one more. And this time we're going to release through our mouth and relaxing our shoulders, dropping down, down, down. And with every breath you take, you're going to drop your shoulders down by 10. And again, and down, 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 relaxing even more into your body. Just allow your awareness to come and settle in, surrender everything over and just listen to the guidance that comes in. And as we step forward today onto this journey, we're going to allow ourselves to come into balance, emotions, physical, mental. We're going to allow everything to be balanced by the time we're done. We're going to bring in our awareness into our body, into our mind and our soul. And we're going to connect everything back to one, one with you, one with source. I'm going to ask you to allow your soul to be lifted from your body. And I'm going to ask you to take a walk in your living room. And you're just going to keep walking until you come to a hole in the floor. The hole is eight feet wide, so you really can't miss it. You're going to look down inside of that hole and you notice there's a Merkaba. It doesn't feel like it's out of arm's reach. You can see it spinning clockwise with multiple colors shining out of it. It's lined with gold and platinum. And inside, you can just barely make out the glitter of codes. They shine so bright. You bend down. You reach your arm down and through this hole and try to pick up the Merkaba. But that's not what it's for. You stand back up. And all of a sudden, you feel this little nudge behind you. And you be pushed over the edge of that hole. You find yourself standing on top of this Merkaba. And ever so gently, you start to spin clockwise. Nice and slow. And as you're standing on this, you open your arms wide. And you allow all of the energy to be pushed from source all the way down through your body system, through your crown, your third eye, into your throat, your heart, into your solar plexus, into your sacral into your root, down your legs, and into this Merkaba. And as the energy hits the Merkaba, you notice that it starts to shine different colors around you, amplifying the energy up from your feet, up to your knees, up around your chest, and into your head. This is your activation of your Earth Star Chakra, allowing you to be grounded to Mother Earth, Grounded into your thoughts and your emotions, creating balance. Creating an internal energy that starts in your chest and flows outward. This diamond white light that's flowing through you activates all of your energy centers to the next level. The Merkaba stops spinning. As you've received all of the codes, the codes are released up through your feet and into your heart. It allows you to take on a remembering of being activated to a deeper sense of knowing, of grounding information, how to process information, and how to radiate yourself outward when things feel off balance. Having the soul star activated, or earth stars activated, allows you to tap into earth energy and allows you to stay grounded and in balance and harmony. The codes rush through your system, going from your heart to your head and back down to your feet, back into this earth chakra. You say, thank you. 
and they guide you to take a step off of this Merkaba and come down into inner earth. You feel like you're free falling off of the Merkaba, but then you bring in the calmness. Your body stops moving all over and flailing to just complete stillness. You take in the beauty of all the different layers of the center of the earth. You take in the beauty, the shine, the sparkle, the diamonds. You land on what looks like a golden floor with stones laid out on the pathway. You look left, you look right and decide to go right. As you make your way forward, you notice that there's trees and the trees create an archway. You run your hand along the bark of the tree as you walk. The trees are massive. The trunks are eight to 10 feet wide. And you notice the energy flowing off of them. You can see the ripples of energy guiding their way towards you and your hand. You pull your hand away and you start to look at your hand and you can see the energy coming off of it. It's blues and purples and bright white light. This represents everything that Mother Earth is and that you have inside of you to help wherever it's needed. You continue to walk along this pathway, placing your hands on every tree trunk that you pass. You take in the foliage. You notice the animals that are scurrying across the branches. And you take in the energy that is a golden light around each and every aspect of the trees coming together above your head. You tilt your head up to look. And you notice that it feels like rain or mist on your face. This is the earth cleansing you. It's washing over you, releasing you of all of your sins that you've ever done. It's letting go of all the karmic energy you think you've incurred. You notice that you look down at your feet and you can see a ripple of a pool of water. That's your karmic energy. You decide you don't want to take that with you anymore, that it doesn't serve you. You take a giant leap across this puddle and continue on the golden pathway. As you turn around to look at that puddle, you've noticed it's turned into butterflies, blues and purples, greens and oranges flapping their wings and ascending upward. Your energy has been transmuted into something beautiful. You turn back around and continue on the pathway. And through the cusp of the trees, trees, you can see a clearing. You see an open space with a bright light. You see such magnificent white light. You don't remember ever seeing it before. As you step closer, you notice to the right and to the left, there's some beings standing on the side. These beings step forward, one on each side, one behind you and one in front of you. The three beings to the right, to the left and behind you are all Octarians. They come bearing energy gifts for you. These codes will help you to activate the new DNA floating inside of you. The one that hasn't been activated yet. They place these codes inside of your body. H395. 
You can feel your body start to tingle in your chest and your shoulders. You can feel this energy start to spin clockwise inside of you. And as it spins clockwise, it starts to take two different directions, one towards your head and one towards your feet. It almost feels like you're being pulled inside to the outer reaches of the internal body. You feel like your energy is being boosted up. Hormones are being balanced. Energy centers are being balanced. Thoughts are being balanced. All of a sudden you feel that energy drain from your head to your toes. Everything is being released underneath you. You notice the being that's standing in front of you carries a stronger light around him. It shows up as a flat disc and you're wondering who it could be. The guides push you forward towards this disc and you're met with a bright white light, so bright that it hurts your eyes. They encourage you to step forward even more, guiding you with them. They ask you to trust them. They tell you to take a step through that disc to the other side. You do as they ask. They follow in behind you. And the moment you step on the other side, all you see is bright white light. What you feel inside of yourself is peace. A love like you have never felt in your entire life. Every sin, every judgment, every fear stays here. Everything that you do not want in your life stays here. Today, you allow it to be released. because you're not returning with it. Another being steps forward in front of you. This being is Jesus. You may not recognize him and that's okay. He steps in front of you and grabs both of your hands. He tells you that he's here to transmute your energy. Everything that you feel you've done wrong in your life, that you judge yourself or others judge you for, he's going to take it now. He's just asking you to give it to him. He says it's not your responsibility to hold on to it but it's your responsibility to live a pure life for yourself. As you feel him holding your hands, you can feel things starting to move in your body and shift in your body. You can feel these things coming down from your head and out your arms, up through your feet, your calves, your back, your stomach. They all start to flow down out of your hands and into his. You notice him start to change color. From blue to purple. Black to red. Green to yellow. And then bright white light. He's transmuted everything you've given and given to him. And in return, he sends unconditional love through his arms into your hands. It starts to flow up through your hands, through your arms, into your shoulders. 
and it starts to expand out into your body, top to bottom. He takes his hands away and creates two Merkabas in his hands, one with diamond white light and the other with unconditional love. He places them both into your hands at the same time and allows them to be incorporated into the energy that he just gave you. These will continue to spin throughout your body until you no longer need them anymore. And as they go up and they reach your heart space, you can feel them start to amplify. The vibration gets stronger and stronger. You notice your strength increase. You notice your love increase for yourself. You notice that your chest feels lighter. Your body feels more open. You feel more grounded, more at peace. You feel like you could float. You tell him thank you that you bared too much burden of everybody else and yourself that you didn't realize that you weren't living. And now you know how to transmute it. He says you're welcome and that you can come back anytime and they will assist you with anything that you need. He asks you to stop by anytime you like, but to also take away the lessons that need to be learned. You say thank you and release the hands. You turn around and step out of the disc back into the inner earth. You notice that everything has changed. It looks more vibrant. more at peace. The beings that were there assist you walking back towards where you came from. But they tell you you're gonna take a different way up this time. This time you're going to the library. The library that will help you understand why you're here, why you're on earth your soul's purpose. They guide you over to a different portal. And as you step forward onto this blue disc, you get shot up right into your library. When you come to a stop, you notice the vastness before you, arch ceilings, beautiful stained glass, golden white light shining in every which direction. You notice that there's beings standing on every aspect in every corner of this room. The ones in front of you beckon you forward to the center of the room. As you walk forward, you notice that there's a table. When you reach the table, they tell you to stop. You notice that there's a book on the table. This book is yours and yours only. Nobody else can read it but you. And you can only read it when you're ready. They tell you to take a deep cleansing breath and allow yourself to decide if you're ready to look at this book. This book's a game changer. Take a deep cleansing breath, put your hand out and open the book. The book lands right in the center. At the top of the page, you see your name. And as you read down, 
It says purpose. And underneath that title of purpose, it says you're here to live the life that you love in content. You look up at the beings down at the book and back up to them for confirmation. They put big smiles on their faces and let you know that you try too hard. That you're making it more complicated than it has to be. Your purpose is to learn the lessons that you haven't learned before. Allowing them to come in, acknowledge them, and move them out if you don't like them. To live with love and compassion and understanding but to be content in the life that you choose to live for yourself. You hold out your hand. And they place a clear crystal ball in your hand. You bring the ball closer to your eyes. Within there, you see imagery. The imagery, imagery shows you something that you still need to work on in this lifetime to know that you've accomplished what you need. Whether it's letting go of emotions, healing a wound between you and somebody else, stepping into a new career, Stop allowing people to control your life. Now that you see it in the crystal ball, now is your chance to take action to change it. You look at them and say, what happens when I complete this? They say you only need to ask for another globe and it will show you the next thing that you need to work on. And every time you come back, the imagery will be different if you've completed the task. There's no more sinking yourself into the abyss. Now is the time to rise. You're not insignificant. You're not broken. You're not invisible. Today you're seen. Today you're heard. Today, you step forward as your best self. No more excuses. There's no more going back. Your goal and your mission is to be the best possible person you can be and fall in love with that. You tell them, thank you. And you're grateful for this gift and this tool. You ask if you can take the book with you. They said, no, the book stays here. You can come back and see it anytime you want to. You come back to these halls, you get the information you need to move forward in your life to content. They take the ball out of your hands and replace it with another orb. This orb has a glow, has a code in it that will allow you to feel 100% complete. Instead of handing it back to you in your hand, they take it over and place it into your higher heart. You feel it radiate inside of your body from the chest out. You say thank you and that you'll be back. You turn around and make your way back out the door. You notice that the hole in the floor is gone, but you notice one to the left. You take five steps over towards it. And all of a sudden there's a green circle on the floor that allows the portal to open up and take you right back into your living room. 
you look down back through where you came from and you notice the Merkaba is spinning faster and faster. And you smile knowing that you're well-grounded and that if you ever need another look at it, you can just feel it under your feet. The warmth that's under your feet right now is your earth star chakra that's activated. All of a sudden you see this, the hole start to close and you turn around, grateful for the experience. You walk back over to your body and have a seat. You bring in so much love for yourself for this journey today. You bring forward all the codes and all the integration that's going to happen over the next couple of days to allow yourself to feel whole and one with yourself and with source and that there's zero separation between you and anything else and that everything you want is now. And when you're ready, come back into your body, into your mind and into your soul. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>